What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to do a quick review of the Magic Mill Food Dehydrator. And in this review, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about the food dehydrator itself, as well as one thing that I think that you should know before actually buying. So guys, I got this dehydrator. We've been testing out dehydrators recently uh, just because I'm a huge, huge fan of beef jerky. And this thing makes incredible beef jerky, makes really, really good vegetables. Uh, we've dried out a lot of fruits for our daughter. A lot of different things have been made in this already. Uh, and we are absolutely not disappointed with it. And I'll tell you a lot of the reasons that I like it here. So first off, let's talk about the heads up display here, the LED. Um, it's nice just because you can kind of see what you're doing as you're doing it visually. Uh, in addition to that, they have these functions here, the fast and the raw. So this is the raw and this is the fast. Those are just nice because those are preset um, drying times that are really, really commonly used. Uh, so it's just nice to basically use that and quickly get what you need and then get started. Beyond that, as you can see, this is a see-through door, right? That's really nice. Um, a lot of them do not have see-through doors. So it's nice to actually have this to be able to see what's happening while it's happening. In addition, the trays are really cool. So these trays, so first off, they have a skewer tray, uh, which I really like. Um, we've used that to make kind of like kebabs, if you will, but dried ones. Uh, and then they also have these. These are mesh uh, and they are metal, right? So this is nice because a lot of them aren't necessarily this high quality of material. Um, and, you know, it's one of the problems that you have when you get them is they can easily break. These aren't going to break, right? These are metal. So obviously that's going to be easy. In addition to that, they do give you these other trays, which I just wanted to show you. This is kind of what a lot of competitors have or, or something similar to this. Uh, and they cook on this or they have, well, they don't usually have these drip trays. These are nice because they can uh, collect any drips of anything that, you know, might be giving off drips over time. Hopefully you don't have that in your dehydrator too often, but it happens. Uh, so that's nice for that. This also comes with these nifty little gloves, which are kind of nice. Um, you know, you just basically wear them like almost like a claw, right? And you're able to grab the trays right out without hurting yourself. I also like that this one has an uh, uh, overheat uh, mechanism to it. So if it overheats, it'll essentially shut off by itself, which is nice just from a safety standpoint. In terms of the actual fan, so I can pull out some of these. So you can see it's a rear mounted fan all the way in the back. Uh, and basically they have the fan there and then the heating element and it essentially will dry out uh, whatever you put in here as it as it goes. And as you can see, there's plenty of space. So there is what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of these uh, racks right here, which are pretty good size racks. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of room to do your dehydrating, which was definitely a big deal for me. I really like dehydrating, like doing this to my food. Uh, and I basically had a cheap one previously. So we decided to try out others and this has been uh, a great one so far. Now in terms of turning it on so you can actually hear it. So we'll just put the time temp. Uh, it doesn't really matter, we'll press start. And I don't know how well you can hear that. I even have to get back here. It's really quiet. Um, this is a very, very quiet fan compared to some others that we've checked out. And the last thing I do want to mention here is that they have this uh, cookbook, which I've used extensively. Um, and it's nice because it basically lets you know, uh, you know, what the time should be, the dryness and preparation, a whole lot of different things that you can dehydrate. And honestly, there's a lot more than you'd think. Um, you know, it kind of surprised me when I look at things like this, all the different things you can actually dehydrate it. This is the cream of the crop. This is what we like so much. And I've had some great, great food or, or you know, great, great jerky with this thing. So in terms of the thing to know about this, so I didn't have this issue, but just something to know. So this right here is plastic. This isn't like super cheap and chintzy plastic, right? It is a thicker plastic, but there have been some reports that I saw of individuals who got these and they were cracked or something like that. The, the shipping is pretty good, the way that they package these. So I think those are kind of just situations where, you know, just anomalies overall. Um, but you can obviously contact the manufacturer for that. Uh, but I didn't have that problem. I haven't had any issues with durability. This thing's been great. So yeah, guys, overall, we definitely recommend this. Really, really like it a lot. Uh, and if you do decide to get it, we don't think that you'll be disappointed. Otherwise, we hope that you enjoy your dehydrated food as much as we have.